Locals and tourists have already started camping out across Sydney Harbour ahead of the city's iconic New Year's Eve fireworks. Julia Bradley is at Hickson Road Reserve in Sydney. Uh, Julia, how early did people get there? Well, Holly, people have been camping out since midday yesterday, all in a bit to secure that perfect spot to watch Sydney's iconic New Year's Eve fireworks display and ring in 2024 in style. Now, unlike last year, many of these official vantage points across the city are free rather than ticketed. So because of this, they're working on a first come, first serve basis and we're expecting really big crowds. More than a million people are set to line Sydney's harbour to watch these fireworks tonight. If you want to check whether there are spots available, you can head to sydneynewyearseve.com. That was a promise of now Premier Chris Minns to make these vantage points free. There are 49 of them. In total, 38 of them are free. Here's how some people have been preparing this morning. Really excited. I think Sydney is the best uh, New Year's Eve spot in the world, so really excited to be there. I mean, I don't usually wake up at 4 o'clock or 3 o'clock in the morning, yeah. so I'm pretty excited, I would say. We heard this was some of the best in the world, so that we went all the way here just for the fireworks. I mean, we're with friends, we're the, the friends, you know, it's just a nice environment to be in, everyone's very happy, so... Um, we brought a lot of food, yeah, we're all so. set. We've the fireworks will begin at 9 o'clock tonight. That's the Calling Country fireworks, which have been curated by First Nations people. There's then also going to be a nod to the Sydney Opera House, which, as we know, is celebrating its 50th anniversary this year, and this all ahead of the big finale at midnight. We will see about uh, 58,000 individual fireworks weighing 8.5 tonnes in total light up the sky above Sydney Harbour. There will be 184 vantage points for those fireworks to be launched from on the Harbour Bridge itself and also five city rooftops. We've heard from the Lord Mayor of Sydney this morning. She says this will pump millions of dollars into the state's economy. Well, tonight we'll have about a million people around the foreshore and uh, about 425 million people watching around the world. A full economic analysis of the, was last conducted in 2019 and found that the overall economic benefit of Sydney's fireworks was $280 million. There'll be plenty of police out and about tonight to make sure that everything goes smoothly. People are being advised to leave their cars at home and to take public transport if they're coming into the city because there are many road closures. I love the commitment from the people behind you there getting in early for the best view of the fireworks. Julia Bradley, thank you so much.